Today we're going to take a look at a really amazing tool that I use all the time called If This Then That. Now If This Then That is something that makes your life a lot easier. It's more of a teacher tool or a student tool than it is something you use in the classroom, but I think it certainly can make a life a lot easier. So let's take a look at what it does. We'll start by looking at recipes. Now recipes are tasks that other people have set up and shared. So I'll start with that and it might make this tool make more sense for you. So over here, these are tasks that other people have shared. So for example, when Facebook profile picture changes, it updates your Twitter profile picture. That's pretty neat. When, you're thanking, when people thank you in Twitter, or rather they mention you, you can set it up to automatically send a tweet and thank them. And then it gets really cool. You can have the weather sent to your Gmail. So if it's going to rain tomorrow, send you a, an email with a hashtag weather at Gmail. And there's a lot of other things you can set up over here, and I think that they're really pretty amazing. So every time you star something in Gmail, it gets sent to Evernote. I mean, there's a lot of amazing things you could do. Um, as you can see, these are lists of people have shared. So download, watch, later videos to Dropbox. Um, you know, there's a lot of interesting things you can actually do. What I'd like to show you, though, is how you create these. Now, these are ones, as I said, a recipe that people have shared. To create them, though, you go to Tasks, and you can create a new task very simply. If I go to Create Task over here, and it's, it's filling out the if-then statement. So if this, click on the word this, and I can choose to do something. So let's say over here, if someone tweets, and I can post over here, let's say I favorite a tweet. If someone, if I favorite a tweet, I can complete the trigger. Now before you saw that someone had set it up, so if there was a favorite tweet, it went automatically to Evernote. I could do whatever I want though. So this could happen. I could have it sent to Facebook. I can have it uh, marked to my read it later. I could have it go to Storify. There's a lot of different things I could set up. So over here, actually, I'm going to set up, so if I favor a tweet, it's going to be sent to an email address. So send me an email. And I can choose over here the different uh, things that I want the email to say. So it's going to say the username, it's going to say the text of the tweet, and I can have it even say the, the time or date that it was created. And I can also come over here and in the body have it a link to the tweet. And I'm going to complete the action, and that's it. When someone favorites that, it's going to send me an email at my email address. And that's pretty much the tool. If this, then that, it's definitely one of the most useful tools I've come across in the internet these days. And uh, if you want to get started really simply, you sign up and you go over to the recipes and just add them to your, uh, to your account, and you can kind of do things like this. So for tomorrow, if your forecast calls for, and you can set it up if it's rain or not, you can very easily have it send you an email. I'm going to have it do that over here, set it up, search for my location. I'll put in my zip code, or I can put in my, my city. And very easily, I can activate that, and it's done. On and ready. Now I know when it's going to rain. So enjoy that. If this, then that. Check it out.